Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing my first get ready with me. So I hope that you enjoy. Excuse the unprofessionalism of it. Um, like I said, it's my first one. So it's a little wonky, but it's okay. And um, the reason why I'm doing this is that I did... Um, acquire some products from Pure Cosmetics through Octoly. So a lot of the products that I'm going to be using in this um, Get Ready With Me was sent to me through Octoly for review. And then they're products that I actually purchased myself. Anyway, so if you want to know how I got this really pretty pumpkin spice and everything nice <laughs> um, fall look, um, just keep on watching. Okay, I have already put my sunscreen on, all my skincare, and I have prepped my eyes with my um, eye primer and my base. So we're going to get started as soon as I can find everything. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to use is this product here um, that I did order off of Hotlick. Um, so I purchased this myself. And this is the Pure Creator Eyeshadow Palette. And this you can get at Ulta. And I'll have it linked um, down below. I'm trying to get used to my, my frame here. Um, it had this little rubbery thing on there, but I took it off. So these are all magnetized. So you can, um, you can um, put them in a different palette if you want which this one right here is like really thick. I mean, look how thick that is. It's very, very thick. And it has a, a mirror there. So, um, da -da 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 -da. let's see if we can get this party started. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color right here. And I have a um, Dillium Tools 778 brush. And I'm just going to put this color all over my lid to create a um, canvas. So let's get started. And I have my mirror sitting right down here. So if I'm looking down, that is why, because I have my mirror here so that I can see, because I can't see in the viewfinder, I can't see in my monitor, not to do makeup anyway. So I'm just patting that all over the lid just to create a canvas. And um, so, today is, gosh, what time is it? It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a, these are powdery, so you will have some, um, some kick up. That is for sure. All right, where is my brush at? I have everything piled on this table, and it's really hard to find. No, it's not I'm going to take my Wayne Goss uh, number 17 brush. I love this brush. This is perfect to do crease work, everything. Well, you're going to see me use it quite a bit, but I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put it all into the crease. Tap some that off. So anyway, we do have some nice fall weather. Um, it's been, gosh, it's been rainy and chilly. I haven't seen any sunshine since, well, it's all started on Friday, and this is Wednesday. So it's been some really nice fall weather. So I'm just putting that just kind of all into the crease, like that. And then I'm going to get some more and do the other eye. Okay, I have the crease work done on both eyes. Now I'm going to go into this darker... Um, orangey brown color. This is going to be a really pretty spicy fall look. Pumpkin spice look. But I'm going to go into that color right there. I don't know. Do these have names on the back of them? No. They don't. That would have been, that would have been nice, huh? But no. No name. And then I'm just going to work this into the outer portion of my eye. I'm not, I'm definitely not good enough at doing makeup to do a tutorial so I just thought I would do a get ready get ready with me which is what I had told um, pure when I 
applied for all these things through Autoly um, that I wanted to do a get ready with me featuring pure products and so I got as much as I could through Autoly and then I purchased some things through um, Holt Look. Okay, I have both eyes done with that color. Blow that off. And then I'm going to take this little gold color right here. And I'm going to put that in the inner portion of the eye. On the rest of the lid, that doesn't have color on it. See, I'm real, I'm real <laughs> descriptive here. Anyway, and I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to use my finger just to tap that into the eye not into the eye, onto the lid. <laughs> yeah, don't put, it, don't put it in your eye. And I'm just kind of taking it over the um, color that I put on the outer edge just a little bit. So just like that. Pretty, isn't it? So let me do the other eye. I'll be right back. Okay, I have both eyes done now. So, um, that is what I'm going to use out of this palette for right now. So we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to get some eyeliners, and these eyeliners, um, Pure did send these to me. These are the On Point eyeliners. They are waterproof. Um, they're supposed to wear for 10 plus hours, so they're long wearing. And they sent me a whole batch of colors. some of the colors that they sent me and also a liquid liner. I like this liquid liner. I'm not going to use it today but I do like it because it's very um, thin and you can get a very precise line with this and it's really easy to work with and it once it dries it stays on and it's a nice black. But for this look I am going to pick this color here which is the olive green color and this is called, um, oh, what's the name of this one? Hotline. It's in the color Hotline. And it's a self-sharpening, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. And the lid on it um, screws and unscrews, so it is very secure. So you can get that on there tight so that um, you don't um, dry out your your eyeliner. <laughs> I can't do a whole bunch of things at once and talk. This is this is interesting. So I'm going to put my eyeliner on. Um, it goes on really, really, really easy. You're probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing. I definitely have to look in my mirror for this. I don't want to put my eyeball. And I've done that. How many has done that with eyeliner? More so with mascara wands than with, with eyeliner. I was trying to figure out, it has a little end here that you twist to get it to go up. Oh, these just go on so pretty and easy. And they don't drag and they don't tug at all. Wow, that looks good. Let's see, isn't that pretty? I'm trying to close my eyes where you can see it. Very pretty. So, they sent me those, and then there was a gray color that is really pretty, and then there's a brown, um, a black, and a really pretty purple. So, I am, I am all set for new eyeliners, definitely. Oops, so let me um, put that lid back on there. It back on. So now I'm going to take some of these pigments that they sent to me. They sent these to me. This is the Pure um, Five Piece Eye Polish Kit. There's five colors in here. There is Visionary, Dreamer, let's see, Visionary, Dreamer, Star Blazer, 
satin and romantic and all of them with the exception of satin which is this one right down here have lots of glitter in them <laughs> I mean a ton of glitter here they are out of the little container there maybe you can see the glare it's not too good but I am going to take visionary this color here and I am just going to put a little bit on top of where I patted that one color in right there just to give it a little extra um, these would definitely be something that you would want to use sparingly so I'm gonna try and get just a little drop because it doesn't take much and again I'm just going to use my finger and just pat that one there just in that inner part of the eyelid and it does go it did go a little bit on top of my eyeliner which is fine I kind of like the way that that looked let's see so let me do the other eye <clears throat> okay I have both eyes done now hopefully you can see all that um, I have a feeling that by the end of the day I'm gonna have glitter out all over my face um, probably should use some type of glitter glue with these, I bet. So, anyway. So, then they sent me some, um, primers, and this is the 4-in-1 Correcting Primers. One is for Hydrate and Balance, and one is for Prep and Perfect. I am going to be using the, um, the Hydrate and Balance one because the Prep and perfect one is more of a silicone silicone and I don't like heavy silicone primers on my face um, so I'm not going to use that I used it yesterday but it's really good for if you're needing something for pore filling and smoothing matter of fact I think I will use it on my nose I have a lot of problems with pores um, on my nose so I'm going to use a little bit there just to kind of fill in I just now thought about doing that. I've been using a little sample of cover FX, so now I have a full size of I one that I think will work just as good. Just kind of tap that in. I'm sorry, you didn't see what I was doing. I was just patting that in. <sighs> and then I'm going to use this one all over my face. This one is really cool. It's like a gel type consistency. Can you see that? And it just takes a a little bit. I used it yesterday and I used way, way, way too much and I had a hard time getting it all worked into the skin. Yeah, so this is really pretty. It feels good. It's kind of cooling feeling and it's very smooth and it's almost like moisturizing. So I think if you definitely have dry skin like I do, you would like this one. So I'm just going to kind of pat that in. I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. I'll put the lid on there. And while I... This is a true get ready with me, okay? This is what I do. I drink Diet Coke. And I'm getting ready. Every morning. You want me to use this one here that they sent to me. This is the No Filter Blurring Primer. I'm going to put that on top of it because it has a little bit like of a glowing type consistency. Not too much though, just a little bit. So we're not going to be like shining everywhere, but I'm going to put a little bit of that on top of that other one. Just because I really like the finish of this one. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And I really do like it. So there we go. So we got our primer on. So now I'm going to take some of the uh, Pure Cosmetic Bare It All Foundation. This is one that was sent to me uh, through Optically a while back. Um, I've used quite a bit of it. And this one is in the color, I forget. What color is this in? Porcelain. So just porcelain. And I'm just going to take a little dab, get this squeezed out, if I get my hand wrapped around it, 
doesn't take much of this right there because um, it's a little bit too thick of a foundation for me for what I like so I'm going to take some of my um, the ordinary um, serum foundation and mix in with it just to thin that out just a little bit because it's it's definitely a full coverage foundation even though it's supposed to be it's called bare it all it's supposed to be a lighter skin perfecting foundation 12 hour four in one still a little bit heavier than what I like so I'm just mixing this up on my hand a little bit and I'm going to just kind of pat it onto my spoon kind of haphazardly <laughs> no rhyme or reason to this part of it I don't use concealer I probably need to but it doesn't matter what kind of concealer I use it doesn't matter it always creases up underneath my eyes and it looks me look like an old hag so I have just been here lately not even been even using any corrector any concealer nothing then I'm taking the Tarte ready set radiant spray and I'm spraying that on my Real Techniques brush and using that to pat and smooth out all of this um, this spray right here um, I have carpet here in my room but at my desk or in my vanity where I do my makeup at normally <laughs> um, I have a one of those plastic chair mats so that my really chair will roll and I kept wondering why it was feeling slippery all the time and I finally dawned on me couple of days ago that it's a spray it has some kind of oil in it because now I have it all over my mirror here <laughs> and I know this is foundation is light and you're thinking oh my god you look like a ghost but or it's going to get warmed up here in a little bit so don't worry about it it's going to be good so that's what I do I just spend a lot of time really patting my foundation into the skin. I probably do this more than what I really need to, but I do it a lot. Okay, the next product I'm going to be using is another product that they sent to me. This is the Skin Perfecting Powder Balancing Act in Translucent, and it's just a compact. And I'm going to use this to set my. Um, foundation. Very pretty powder. I'm going to use my La Mer brush. I'm just going to swirl all that in there. And I'm just going to set all over my face my foundation that I just put on. This is a very light found, uh, powder it looks like. But, oh no, it sets really good. Oh yeah, I can definitely see I'm um, starting to get glitter on my forehead now. <laughs> I'm going to be a glitter ball by the end of the day. So definitely if you get these, if you get these, um, definitely use some, some um, glitter glue with those. Because if not, you're going to be everywhere. And they sent me the Skin Perfecting Powder in Bronzing At. And this one's in the color Dark. It is a little dark, but we are going to make it work. It looks like this here. So, this is a matte bronzer dark. Start up here and start warming up the outer edge of my face. Definitely use a light hand with this being in the dark color. And I'm using my um, Wayne Goss number 12 brush for my bronzing brush. So I use this pretty much every day. And this is pretty much how I do my bronzing. 
whether it be right or wrong, it's what works for me. A little bit up underneath here, a little bit down the sides of my nose, and let go. There we go. So that's really pretty. They also sent an illuminating bronzer and mineral glow that I think I'm going to put a little bit on there too. That's what that looks like. And now that you guys can also tell me if you like this This me being blah, can't talk, me being this close up to you guys. Do y'all like this? Would y'all like for me to do all my videos where I'm up a little bit closer to you? I don't know, you might be able to see the products better if I did it this way, huh? I don't know. Okay, so I got that on. And then they also sent a highlighter. This is the Afterglow highlighter, which is really, really, really pretty. And I'm gonna use my um, Sephora um, Pro Fan Brush in the uh, color 62. Put that on. And we're just going to put that on the highlights of cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. Look how pretty that is. Put some down the nose. Put some up here. Oh, that's pretty. But that's pretty. Can you see that? Can you see the glow? Wow. That's pretty. <laughs> if I get bright and unbright, it's because of my light right here. It's one of those mirrored, lighted up mirrors, and so now the light on it is on, and it's going to go off. That's why it keeps going back and forth. Okay, now then I'm going to go in with some blush, and this is a blush palette that I bought myself off of Hope Look, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. And it's the Pure 4-in-1 Blush Book, right here. And this is what I purchased, and I'm going to use this really pretty orangey, peach, bronzy looking color right here. I'm just going to go into all of those colors with my Bobbi Brown blush brush right here. And just going to pounce it in there a little bit. Take that off, because I don't wanna... Oh, this is really pretty. I filmed this once before, a couple of days ago, this Get Ready With Me, and I didn't like the way it turned out at all. I did, I was like, I don't know. I, just didn't like it. So I'm redoing it. So that's why I kind of know a little bit about what I'm using already and how I'm doing it. Because I already practiced this look. <laughs> yeah, so isn't that pretty? That is so pretty for fall. Oh, or pumpkin spice and everything nice. What do you think? What do you think so far? Alright, I am going to put on my eyebrows, my lips. I'm going to buff all this in with um, this brush right here and my um, Meteorites Pearlescent Pearl Powder, Finishing Powder. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I'll be right back with all of the finished look. Be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did finish up with my eyebrows and mascara. I did use um, this liquid lip here from Jueva's Place um, in Soil. Um, beautiful, beautiful color for fall. So if you, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me on the pumpkin spice look that I created today. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.